Hey guys, it's Key with House of Pain. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. So for today's video, I'm actually going to do a first attempt at crochets. Um, I'm probably not going to do an over-the-top style because I do plan on getting my hair done sometime later in the um, upcoming week. So what I might do is maybe like uh, two puffs, like kind of how I have my hair now, or maybe like a high bun, something of that nature. I'm just going to do this or figure something out as I go along. Um, everything that I have will be listed in the description box below as well as um, prices so you guys have an idea of what you know what I spend and what you will spend if you decide to do the same thing to your hair um, you guys I'm not a hundred percent super confident <laughs> about this hairstyle because like I said it is my first attempt but it's only going to be in for about a week maybe two if I decide to push my hair um, getting my hair done back but at the most a week so let's get started so I have my shine and jam um, in well this is a honey with honey extract and I have this um, with extra hold. I got this from my local beauty supply for $5.99. But you probably can get this somewhere else cheaper. Probably Walmart or even Family Dollar. I have my detangling brush. Excuse the hair that is in there. I washed and conditioned my hair prior to doing this. So the only thing I have in there right now is a... Um, leave-in conditioner I have my rat tail comb just in case my hard bristle brush my crochet needle um, and I have my leave-in conditioner which is really just water a regular um, wash out or rinse out conditioner with a couple of different oils I know I have olive oil in here but I can't remember what other oils I do have in here um, I think it might be Jamaican black castor oil and uh, a little bit of tea tree oil. And then for the hair, I'm actually going in with the Made Beauty Braid. Um, I have this in the two times Bohemian Pop in the color T30, as you can see right there at the bottom. Um, I tried to find something that was closer to the hair color I have now, and this was about as close as I could find. So yeah, we're going to go in with that. Uh, like I said, my hair is already washed and conditioned. So, this shouldn't take long, but you know. You know how it is when you do something for the first time, you want it to be perfect. And you start over analyzing, overthinking it. <laughs> so it takes forever and a day, but yeah. Honestly, I wasn't going to do this on camera. I was going to do something different, like a twist, um, a twist out or something of that nature. But I figured why not just go ahead and try it with you guys just to see where we're at. So yeah. And for those who don't know, um, I did just cut my hair recently, I believe last week. So it is a little bit shorter. Um, because I didn't realize it was going to be as short as it was simply because I did it while my hair was stretched, like super stretched. Like I went over with uh, my blow dryer and my hair went from like here to up to here. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's hair, it'll grow back. But my hair, I intentionally wanted it to be a, um, a trim and then I was combing through and brushing through and realized there was so much more of my hair after I was detangling and I would go over this section again just to be safe that it would still feel like hey like it just felt horrible so I decided why not just so I ended up with a handful of hair so but it's hair like I said it'll grow back and Key has a thing with cutting her hair so yeah so what I'm going to do now, I put a middle part, but um, 
I think I'm not gonna keep a middle part. I think I'm gonna do a bun. So yeah. I'm just gonna detangle. Oh Lord Jesus. The brush kind of catches you off guard sometimes, but it is a good brush. Um, I got this from my local sub uh subbeauty. <laughs> my local beauty supply store as well. And I've been hooked ever since. Like it, it does, it does a world of wonders. I don't even use uh, a comb anymore, a white tooth comb. If I use a white tooth comb, it's more so when I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair, just like so I can break the product through evenly. Evenly, Lord, he just can't talk, can he? Okay. set for about maybe 10 to 20 minutes um, at least until it dries and then I will be right back to start the crocheting portion of this video so I will see you guys in a bit bye so I am back and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the scarf hair is super slick down so I'm appreciating that and I'm just going to jump into the crochet portion of this could tell in the video I was struggling so hard to get the um, crochet hair in it was the needle it would get caught in my hair even closed it was opening up very easily and it was just tearing at my hair and what I'm not trying to do is tear my hair out so I just went ahead and took um, a good amount of the crochet hair and I looped a hair tie around it and just put it on my ponytail and just kind of made a little bun. And then I did try to do like a bang situation. Um, I wanted to do a bang that kind of went across this way. Um, and then I was going to do one that 
uh, went kind of sideways, I had those two options and that the hook was just not doing it for me. So instead of me tugging my hair out, pulling it out, damaging it, you know, after I just chopped a whole amount off not too long ago because of damage, I just went ahead and just kept it simple. I did my makeup, which, hold on, let me get the camera. <laughs> I did do my makeup. Let me take my glasses off so you can actually see without the glare. Yo, this highlighter, <laughs> this highlighter situation is popping. Uh, I think I look really good. And you guys, this is like my second or third attempt at actually doing a full face of makeup. I'm trying to get myself. Um, to where I will wear my makeup outside because I've done my makeup and I have literally wiped it off within 30 minutes of having it on. I would just take it, uh, put it on for pictures and I would actually use filters with the uh, makeup being on regardless because I just didn't feel comfortable with it. So what I'm probably going to do is run some errands, go out with the makeup on and just try to live my very best life. But yeah, this is the final look. Not too bad. I like it. I might end up doing this again or keep it, you know, the entire week. And, yeah. Shoot, that feels so good. I might go to work with some makeup on on Monday. But, yes, that is the final look for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. All of my information will be down in the description box below, as well as the products that I use. Um, and, as always, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And with that being said, you guys love each other. Be kind to one another. Wear your mask. Wash your ass. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.